Ezekiel Gurria has got an awful lot to do to stay with him tonight already. Shiraz ranked number 13 by the WBO. Well, we'll see what he produces here. Really composed Hamza. Uh, that's the first thing I noticed when watching him. Um, it's a great asset to have. Um, and very composed up as well for someone so big and so tall. Um, often you always hear the coaches, you know, keep it long, keep it long, and they never develop a, a, an up-close and short inside game. But he's extremely composed in there. And as well as that, it's rare to see someone so young, young that's not got the mentality of having to win every single moment. He's OK if his opponent's being inefficient. He's OK to lock up, let his opponent crack away and then make him pay for being inefficient. Well, I don't doubt that we'll see at some point the terrific injections of pace that he can bring to his game. By Shiraz's standards, a very a relatively quiet opening round. Just taking a look at Gurria, but signs in the closing seconds here that he's starting to put a little bit more devilment into his punching. And there goes the bell to end the first. Was a little uppercut inside Good there. Good timing again there on the jab. Shiraz took ten rounds to win his last fight, which was in November last year, against Guido Pito of Argentina. I've actually got on my notes in that fight. He could have stopped. He could have stopped Pito uh, a little bit earlier had he had the improvements that I've already seen here um, with what we would call an offbeat jab. Quality jabs there again from Shiraz. He's got great accuracy and some power with that shot. Yeah, people talk about timing, but um, it's not, oh, uh, wait for my moment, wait for my moment, now I'll punch. It's picking your moments, and if you can let your hands go in a safer moment when your opponent's base is broken, it's a lot more it's a lot more of an effective moment to throw your shots. Gave the first two rounds to Shiraz, presumably, and he's uh, on top here in the third. Yeah, for sure. I would like to see him start going through the gears a little bit more, though. Oh, lovely jab. See the way it rocked back his head. That illustrates, again, timing and power. There's nothing pawing about that jab. Nice little change of pace there. A few throwaways up top before sinking one downstairs. I'd like to see a few feints from Hamza as well. Good round this, and you can see he is starting to go through the gears a little here, Shiraz. I think it'd be very effective if he brings something, something with the right hand round the side as well, once close enough. Well, this is his most emphatic round so far. Strange footwork from Gurria. 3 0. Oh. Just right. a little step to the right now and stop Gurria walking back to the centre of the ring. Hamza pressing too hard to the left, allow Gurria back to the centre of the ring. Something I keep going on tonight, but we see it so often. It was an area where Ricky Hatton used to be so brilliant, at, didn't he? Just a step aside to give space for the shot. That's right. but you don't want to be allowing the opponent back to the centre of the ring. The eyes of Gurria starting to get bruised. Hams are pressing too close to the ropes. A little faint in between these moments will prevent Gurria from, from setting up an attack and keep him reactive. Bullies him back across the ring once more. Just waiting his moment to really unload, you sense. Well, he looked for it there, but missed by a little distance, whistled past the nose of the Spaniard. That's a little cut inside. Yeah, a little right hook round that side as well, round the body that side as well. Be effective right about now. A lot's been coming off of that left arm, left hand, left uppercut, left hook. 
Now there was the step aside that you've been advocating before he delivered that left hand. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, yeah. Two terrific body shots, followed by the left uppercut. Down he goes, punch on the jaw, and is he going to be counted out right here? I think he's going to take the... Oh, no, he's got up. I thought he was going to allow Marcus McDonald to count him out. That's the first time Hamza worked him around both sides. That's what he needs to keep doing, both sides. Keep working around both sides. Be a little bit more efficient than this, a little bit cuter. Guerrilla holding on in desperation. This is, a, this is a moment to use his touches and throwaway shots. There you go, that right hook round the side as well, better. Big body shots. Just and I don't think Guerrilla has got too much left here. Just needs to be selective to find the right shot. He's ready to go. Referee looks, he goes down, and the fight is all over. The dramatic stoppage that he was craving. Brilliant finish there from Hamza. The moment he started working around that right side, Guerrilla been circling around to, the, to Hamza's right-hand side throughout the fight. The first time he worked him around both sides, found something up the middle of it. A new trainer-fighter partnership, and Hamza Shiraz, identified by so many as a world champion in waiting, once he got the opportunity, my goodness, he really went for it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 23 seconds of round number five. Your winner by technical count out. And still, WBO European Super Welterweight Champion, Hamza Shiro.